right, so welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be working in Blender. You can get it at blender.org and download it there for free. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Blender 2.78. Then you can left click and that will get rid of the starter screen. And you can hold the center mouse button and move the uh, your work area around. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go over here, make sure that I'm at 1080p. Uh, I'm going to change mine to 100% resolution and take my frame rate up to 60 frames a second. I'm going to give this file a name. I'm going to call it text. I'm going to go over here to the little file icon, click on it, and set it for my desktop so I can find my work and let you, I mean, if you have a folder, set it to your folder, whatever, and then hit accept. Next thing we're going to do is change the encoding encoding there we go I'll make mine I do mine in xvid I mean the file type now I'm changing the encoding to xvid uh, you may find that you have some problems with that I'll turn my bitrate up to my maximum which is 9000 um, the bitrate or your max bitrate should be down here and that's what you can turn it up to so next uh, Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, you can do this in R Blender Render or Bl uh, Cycles Render. Uh, Cycles Render will allow you to run it off your GPU or your graphics card. And uh, if you don't have a graphics card, I mean, you can still do it. It's just going to take a really long time. Uh, <clears throat> these are your uh, your different uh, uh, <laughs> tools. Uh, this this is actually uh, the uh, materials tool, and it, as you change it from uh, cycles render to blender render, all these tools actually change. So you know you want to think about that when you're doing stuff. Uh, there's there used to be a whole bunch of other little things on here, which since the uh, they updated it, they seem to be different. So right here, I'm just setting my background sky or messing with it. Uh, apparently, I'm not going to set it though yet, just quite yet. Uh, so, so if if you do have a GPU and you're running on Cycles Render, you can set your set it from CPU to GPU, right there, and that'll actually let it. It it goes faster if you have a graphics card. If if you do have a graphics card, you want to go over to the file, go down to User Preferences, make sure you're in uh, <laughs> that you have it on uh, uh, CUDA. Which is which is your CUDA cores in your graphics card? So you'd go set it to CUDA core and then uh, save user preferences right there. So I've already got mine set up, so I'll go ahead and close that and let's see, set it back to Blender render. Uh, you guys don't have to do any of that. You can just start in the default and do what I'm doing now with your cube. You can grab these arrows and move it around different ways. Uh, but we don't need this cube, so I'm going to hit the X button and then click delete. Next, I'm going to go down here to add, and I'm going to add a text. So I hit text, and uh, if you noticed, I got another little tool button up in the uh, right-hand corner there. Up in the right-hand corner. Okay, apparently I'm going to rotate it. You hit R then X and then 90 and that'll rotate it 90 degrees so that it's standing up now you can go to the the text tool that I just clicked there and extrude and that makes it bigger if you click if you use the mouse wheel you can zoom in and zoom out okay now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the resolution up a little bit and then I'm gonna put a bevel a bevel on it give it a little bit of a bevel and now I'm going to go into uh, uh, another mode you hit tab delete and delete the text write your text in there and then hit tab again and that'll take you out of it okay now I'm going to Go ahead and make my bevel a little bigger, and then I'm gonna 
adjust the offset a little bit so they're not quite touching you'll get kind of some uh, messed up little anomalies if you do that grab the blue arrow drag it up all right so we got that uh, I've got my text uh, now I'm gonna right click on on my lamp and as you see there I got another little tool button for my son and uh, I'm just gonna now I turned it up but uh, it, it ended up being too bright so you're gonna want to leave it at around one on your on your lamp it, it, it was just way too bright and, and with the colors that I used it doesn't turn out very well so next I'll right click on my text I'll hit materials open up materials and just go down to the color bar and if you're doing this in cycles render render it's going to be a lot different so and I may have to do that so do one do a video in cycles so that people can see what that's like or you can just go to one of the links that I'm going to leave in the description which are the guys who I learned this from so next we'll go to the world and we'll start setting our horizon and background and you can just pick whatever colors you want You go down here to these colors and you just brighten them up. If you pull your cursor off of that color tool, it just disappears. You don't have to hit enter or anything, it just disappears on its own. So, I'm just playing with colors. I, I don't even, it, it really doesn't matter <laughs> what colors I use because this is just a. A cheesy demonstration I am not proficient in blender uh, I know enough to make my own things and if there's something I don't know I I look for it and I figure it out so looks like I got that where I want it okay so I'll go back to okay I right click on my camera I'm gonna start to move my camera around now to I, I hit uh, I hit uh, rotate or R you hit R and then X or actually Z that's a Z axis there and then I can move it around with the cursor and I, I, right now I'm just uh, trying to line up the camera so I can see my text through the camera and to look through the camera you hit zero on your number pad if you don't have a number pad you can go down to where it says views and click on it views is down in the lower left hand corner you can click on it and uh, uh, put it in camera view so so that's all I'm doing here is just lining up my camera to see if I've got it right That's another thing. You might want to change your your view when you're trying to line things up. I mean, you saw that there; it just wasn't working. So yeah, you just gotta change the view. Now I'm gonna hit uh, F12. I think here. No, okay. I'm still moving my camera around. All right. I'm gonna add a plane. I'll go to Mesh and add a plane. and I hit S and that'll let me scale it up and I just pull uh, the uh, little arrows away and that gives me my plane so now what I could do is I can go to my materials and give that a a, a surface <clears throat> another thing I want to do is I'm just gonna make this 120 frames so I'll just do that there it also changes it up here. You can change it in either area and it still works. So you just do that. Uh, that that'll give me at 60 frames a second. That'll give me what uh, uh, four seconds of video, three seconds. <laughs> All right. So I just went to uh, uh, materials and I'm gonna make that plane a mirror. 
so there's that you can do over there either side is good but that's in the uh, modifiers on the, your little tools and it's the one that looks like the wrench so so now I have a uh, material for that now you see it's it's just way too bright way overexposed it's uh, not good looking that and my camera's too low so I right click on the camera and drag it up and I'm just gonna sit here and mess with my camera and try to get it where I want it and yeah fun stuff so when when I'm moving my camera I just hit R to rotate or uh, R and then if I want to rotate on the X axis do that Y axis hit Y and Z axis you hit Z that's that's actually pretty easy <laughs> all right go ahead and go back to my light and go ahead and turn that way down now to get this render view all I do is I put my cursor over my work area and I hit F12 and that gives me a rendered view of my picture and that looks like shiza <laughs> everybody just learned a word in German okay and to escape that you or to get out of that you just hit escape now I have mine on pretty low samples I think it's at 128 samples but when I go to render I will turn the samples up okay you see I'm just playing with colors and light and all that that's that, that's probably the biggest problem at times it's just getting the lighting right getting the colors right making sure everything you can see everything and it's clear and it looks good And since I used a reflective surface as uh, my plane, it's kind of causing problems. That's why I had so much glare. Is I, I should have left it pretty dark. That would have given me a, a much better view. So I hit F12 again. All right, I, never mind. I select my camera. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start animating the, the scene. So what I'm going to do is hit I, and that brings up this, and you want to hit Lock Rock, which is Location Rotation. If you hit just Location, that'll record the location of the camera. If you hit Rotation, it just records the rotation of the camera, and so on and so forth. You can probably figure out what the rest of them do, scaling, all that stuff. You can make your, your name get bigger or smaller, or scale it up, scale it down. It doesn't, you know, there's almost no limit to what this this program can do so I hit lock rot for my first location and that gives me my first keyframe okay now what I should have done was moved it to 60 first because it, it didn't record it I I don't know what I was thinking you move it first and then move the camera where you want it and then you hit lock rot or location rotation and next I'll move it to another position and set the camera to where it's still facing it. Now, if you hit location rotation, the camera should stay on whatever it is you have it pointed at between, you know, if you move it from what it's pointing at it from, you know, point A and then you move it to point B, well, it should stay locked on, on your project if you hit location rotation and, and move the camera and line it up good. So I move to the last one. And then that's when I realized somehow I screwed up. Now this isn't like GIMP. I can't just go back and hit undo history. <laughs> so but anyway, we're going to set it back and hit play. And then I realized something went wrong. So what I do is I stop it set it back at the 60 where I messed it up 
where it didn't it didn't record the location and rotation because I didn't move it first to 60 and then move my my uh, camera which is what I should have done so I do that now and get it where I want it look through it looks good and now I hit location or I and location rotation all right so play it again now it's doing what I wanted it to all right that's it okay so I'm doing it from a camera view by hitting zero on the number pad and to escape that you just hit zero again no problem all right Okay. I appear to be looking for something. <laughs> See, that's the thing is, uh, okay, so I set mine to cycles render so that I can use my GPU instead of my CPU which goes a little bit faster and it's a little cleaner and hit animate almost hit border first so you border it and it doesn't try to uh, render the stuff outside of what the camera sees now I'll hit animate now say it starts animating and you're like oh no I forgot to do this you just hit escape and then hit escape again to get back to your thing. Alright, so so we had a little problem there. It started to, oh, I know what I did. I just went and deleted the file that started, which I don't really need to do because it would just overwrite it. Okay, next I go down to sampling, and I'm going to turn my samples up to 300. And uh, if this was something that I really wanted to look really good, I'd uh, take it to at least 500, and then go from there. So it's 706. I start and I start rendering, and boom. and as you will see it takes a while even with the GPU it takes a while to render this is just one frame of 120 frames now I'm sure there's some things I miss and if if you do have questions and you know that you saw that there was something I missed in there then you know just let me know and I'll do what I can to uh, get back to you on it <clears throat> so as you can tell this actually even at 120 frames with only 300 samples uh, it is at 60 frames a second and 100% on my resolution even doing one frame takes a long time and yeah it, it takes hours to do something like this uh, if you're doing something and you've got it up to you know six eight hundred you know a few thousand frames you're gonna be looking at a few days especially if you have your uh, settings as high as I do right now and uh, if you don't have good cooling in your computer you, you you're gonna wanna think about this <laughs> definitely gonna want to think before you, you try to use this because this will heat your computer up okay and what does that say I can't really see what it says but it looks like it's about 9 or 10 25 maybe 10 25 yeah so you can see even doing 120 frames still took a long time but I also have this core temp and you can see it got up pretty high that's pretty hot for the, uh, my CPU I don't, 
even bother checking the temperature on the GPU because it's it's got really good cooling on the GPU. Uh, and I do have, I mean, I've got the, uh, what is it called, the EVO uh, Cooler Master Cooler on my CPU. Something like that. I don't even know what it's called all of a sudden. And I don't see my box for it laying around. So anyway, yeah, that took a few hours. And, uh, well, uh, it's almost done here. And when it's done, we'll go ahead and check it out. See what it looks like. Okay, so here it is and that's the finished product right there that's slowed down and that's it so y'all take care have a good one and keep making videos laters mm -hmm.